Elizabeth Diamond is a positive thought leader, certified hypnotherapist, and intentional scrapbooking expert, and you can add author to that list. Elizabeth is best known for her revolutionary technique, the intentional scrapbooking method. Today, Elizabeth is creating a mini canvas album. I'm delighted to welcome back Elizabeth Diamond. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to be back after my book was released. I had a very busy and hectic summer. It's opened up a lot of doors for me, and I'm going to be doing lots of speaking engagements that are not craft-related, but I do look forward to returning here on Cult of Craft in the upcoming month. And with the busyness of this past month and getting my girls to go back to school, and just launching my website, and there was a lot of setbacks with that. It was really glitchy. I feel as though I've been rushing, 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 and so I really thought about what it is that I'd like to create for myself. What is my dominant intention right now? And I felt that it's all about remembering to breathe in the moment because when we take the time to develop a strong, practice of breathing, no matter what it is that we're faced with, it allows us to become really present in the moment and very grounded and centered in the body. And the more we develop this practice at, uh, every day in our lives, when we are faced with challenges or stressful situations, we automatically start to remember to breathe. So I wanted to anchor that into a little intention book. So go ahead, Tip, and show the, the finished project. So that is the final picture of the intention book, and let me just go through the list of supplies that I'm going to be using today, and, and this is how small it is. It's so cute, and I just love anchoring my intentions into little mini um, albums and books. You can see that it's just an accordion album, and this is the front, and this is the back. And then I just, I put little beads on the bottom to make it stand up. So it stands up on the shelf, and it's a really great reminder um, every time I look at it to remember to breathe. And oh, once I want to point out that I use the color, the color scheme is, I, the turquoise reminds me of the earth meeting the sky and the water. And it just reminds me of fresh, wide, open Spaces, lots of clean air, really um, easy, easy breathing, and so that's the intention behind the colors and the turquoise. So what I did, I, I'm going to use two little craft piece, uh, pieces that I, I got these at AC Moore. I'm going to be using the turquoise chips that uh, I was hoping that my product, my shopping cart, it should be up this week on my website, creatingintentions.com. I'm going to use two. Pink. One is the Dimensional Pearls in Denim from Adirondack. And the other one is Seabreeze from Kaiser Paint. And three adhesives. I'm going to use Blue Dot, Judy Kim's Diamond Glaze, and Glossy Accent. And then I just have a little assortment of, uh, let's see, orange flowers to add some pop to the turquoise. And then you'll see here, what I use for the feet are just little silver beads. And I don't know where I picked these up. I have a ton of these. So um, I just use them for the bottom to make this stand up because they have that uh, that somewhat of a flat surface to, to make it stand. And I have some crystal swirls. I think these are just left over from some Prima that I had left over in my stash. And then I'm using paper today from uh, the my mind's eye called street market and I just love it because it has some uh just watermark font on there. And then I printed out just on regular paper the title Remember to Breathe and the font I use is called Kristen ITC. Alright, so it's so easy to anchor in an intention. So 
as I'm working to create this intention book, I'm just thinking about breathing and breathing in fresh air. Breathing is what keeps us moving forward. And I'm going to cover this entire mini canvas. And I'm going to just show you on the one, but I would cover both of these with this turquoise blue paint. And this just, I'm breathing very deeply and I'm just bringing in with the intention that I'm bringing in a new life force, a new vitality. I'm moving, um, I can feel the breath moving through my body. I feel as I'm connected to the sky, the ocean, the atmosphere. Um, I, I just feel my spirit moving through me and I rejoice in it. And it just feels so good to take the time to breathe. It relaxes me. It keeps me present and centered in my body. So all I do is is to really make these turquoise crystals pop out. I, I'm going to cover both of these with the turquoise paint. And then I'm going to take a little bit. I'm using a dry brush of the darker dimensional pearl. And I'm just going to go around the edges to give it some depth. And, you know, and it's all about just doing how it feels good. Uh, just having fun with it. You know, make it messy. I like it when it's messy. I like how it looks. And I just go around the outside of this, of, of this. Uh, camp, mini canvas. And so while I'm going to let that dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my title here and, and, you know, you can cut it out. But what I like to do is I like to tear it because I really like to get my hands involved in the project as much as possible because to me, uh, especially tearing paper or distressing paper, it, it symbolizes, you know, really getting your hands involved in creating the fabric that is your universe, your world. So I, I like to tear stuff a lot and instead of cutting all the time. And so I just use my thumb as a guide and I and I rip it very slowly. And this is very, I mean, this is just regular printer paper. You can print it on a thicker cardstock, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the glassy accent here in a minute. So and I, what I did on this one is I ripped the words out. And when you use your thumb as a guide and you, and you tear slowly, you can really control the way that the paper rips. So you see that. So what I did, I'll show you on this one, was I just took a little bit of the darker blue to frame it to create some depth in the title. And once again, I'm just dry brushing. And I just went around the edges with the blue to make the, the words pop out. And then I take my glossy accents, and I always keep a long stick pin in my nozzle because it keeps it free um, from clogging up. And I just take my glossy accents, and I cover the top and the back because um, what's really great about this is it is it will make the paper really firm and uh, and thick. And as it dry, and when it dries. I'm going to let it dry. What it will happen is, is then you can take it and you can bend it and it will crackle. And it creates like a crackle effect. But what's really great is I can just paste this right here. Um, and it just sticks. It's perfect. And so my next step would be to cover the outer rim and just the inside edge right here with some turquoise chips to frame that. And I usually get a little tray here to capture my beads in. And this one I'm going to use the, the diamond glaze. I love using diamond glaze to adhere the turquoise chips. And what I do is I start with the top part and I just cover it with a thick coat of diamond glaze. And turquoise is a, is a master healer. It's really great in helping one to really let go and to open up and breathe. So this is actually the, the perfect crystal to use in to anchor my intention into this mini book. And you see that I just kind of put put it in this tray and I tap it on and it will rest on the top and it'll dry like that. Just like that. You have to give it a little it, um with the the diamond glaze dries really fast so it, it won't be long. And then after that's all said and done I will take it around the outer side here and I'll just do a frame. And sometimes I'm really um I'll, I'll take the time to actually place the crystals in, um, so it looks really nice around here and I get, I can get really detailed with that. But really it's, it's that easy to create the, um, this 
effect, this crusted crystals on the outside. And then once again, um, as we sit here and we're anchoring in our intentions, we can, on a day that maybe we feel really uh, stressed out or faced with challenge, we can just come back and lift this, take this book in our hand and sit with it and, and practice our breathing. And uh, we're already, um, this is already serving as that reminder to take that time to breathe. So it's a wonderful way to uh, really anchor in those new thought patterns and ways of being into your life until they become a dominant uh, habit, a positive habit. So what I did was I took a strip of this paper and I matched it up to the, the width and the height of the canvas and then I cut it. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an accordion fold. And so I just will open this up and I'll create it to the width of the paper. And I'll have a little bit left over at the end and I'll trim that to fit onto the two canvas ends. So I have a <laughs> I have my kids scissors today. <laughs> anyway, so all I do to actually adhere it is I found that glue dots work the best. And actually before I would actually adhere it to the covers, I would take a pen and I would journal my story about me sitting down to breathe, what it feels like in my body, how how aware I become, how centered, how grounded how it just resets me no matter what it is that I'm feeling, how when I take the time to breathe, it really just releases any tension and it really um, keeps my spirit flowing through my body so that it's not, I'm not become, I don't feel a stuck, a stuck or a heaviness accumulating from whatever it is that I'm being faced with. It really keeps the flow of my day moving and the breath is a really great way to sort of remind that. Now to adhere this, to the canvas, I just find that these glue dots work the best. So I'm going to show you on this dry piece here how I just find the glue dot and then I just press it in right off. You don't even have to get your fingers on. And these glue dots hold so well. And I like to get the extra strength one. And I just adhere it here to the paper. And I'll do the same um, over here. And you have this really great accordion fold book with your intention and, and you can put pictures in there of you maybe um, sitting down and breathing or maybe you want to put a picture of the beach or whatever and um, and then just to add some extra element I took some of the swirls from Prima and to me because it's like air swirling so it's very it's all intentional and then the, the orange flower is just a pop of color that's just like, wow, <laughs> that can cause you to take that deep breath in. And how you would adhere the bead, I just use a glue dot because the glue dots are, are strong. And here's my roll. I always seem to use my glue dot. And here, I'll just pull it off, stick it on the bottom. And I like to use metal. Metal adds a nice bit of pop and texture. And I just put it on there, and I'll do all four. And that's how you create a very quick and that's how you anchor in a very quick and easy intention into this really awesome cute little mini book and it's it, this whole mini book probably took me in length about 20 minutes and anytime we take two or more minutes to focus on really feeling into the desired outcome of one of our intentions we actually start to uh, demand a, a response from the environment so as we are relaxing into our body and we're taking those deep breaths in, we're actually releasing physical toxins from the body. We're becoming really centered in our body. We're becoming really aware of the present moment. And whenever we become centered in the present moment, we realize we have all these different choices that we can take. And in that moment, as you're so centered and grounded, you can really choose the best choice that is being presented. So with that being said, you can take it back to you, Tiffany. Thank you.